Hello everyone, I'm Dong Mei Wang, an associate professor in geology and geological engineering school. Today, I want to show you the lab of petrophysics study. And this lab, basically, we use the for interfacial tension test and the centrifuge for liquid and solid separation with caustic test and some small car cleaning. And if you follow me, you can see there is a safety sheet here. In this lab, basically, we have very slight flammable liquid stored in the container. They are not harmful at all, but we still want to point it out to make you att pay attention. And we do have some cross-safe liquid. Again, it's not really harmful. You can see the level only one and it's saying we want to put that solvent for example solvent like toluene into the hood and we do have waste chemicals but we discharge those waste chemicals pretty outlet pretty like once a month to UND safety office no worry about that however we don't have any biohazard liquid or chemicals in this lab before we get into lab, we need to have our gloves on and lab coat on and safety glass on. And even though we are not exactly shoe cover, but I want you guys no open shoe enter this lab. Okay, so follow me into the lab. Okay, the first the thing, as we mentioned, we need to have glass on and gloves on. Anytime if you want to do experiment, you really need glove on, just in case. And coat on. Again, see, See my shoes, no open toe shoes required. Okay, so the first equipment here, we have a very high resolution of this scale. We can measure very, very light amount of particles with this container with the digital precision about 0 0.0001 gram. We can also measure like at least the 100 gram using this scale. And we do have another scale with two digits inside of another room. The second equipment here, we call it tensile meter, spanning drop tensile meter. You can test the interfacial tension one of the petrophysical property between liquid and liquid, and between liquid and viscous liquid. So interfacial tension definitions you can learn from the lectures. So for this equipment, when we use it, we can use a needle to put the, for example, here is the oil drop and liquid for example, bring water into the needle and inject it along against along the wall of tensile meter. And you can observe the oil shape change from round shape to eclipse, eclipse shape. So that just means the interfacial tension probably will be reduced by brain water contact. And this tensile meter made in grease and six five hundred and they can achieve 90 C degree is really good one. The next one you see this one we call the Brook Field Low Viscosity Viscal Meter. We use this equipment to test the liquid viscosity, for example test the type water, surfactant solution or polymer solution. But just re re uh, remain, just remember in this viscosity meter, we cannot test the heavy oil 
with Cosby. If you got some heavy oil from Canada, about 600 MPA or CP center points, this equipment is not available. You need to have a more high whisker meter to do that. Okay, in another room, The very important thing here, we have a big hue. So this one can be used for some chemical storage. You see the chemicals over there. And we use this small dish stack to clean cold samples. The reason we want to use, because if you use small amount of toilet, like so want to clean the cores or mix some liquid or solution, this may be smell stronger. So you want to discharge those smell out of the lab. We need to turn the air circulation on and you need to remember to close this door. And we do have some chemicals storage here. All of the chemicals, they are surfactant for example here and we also have some polymer solutions so those chemicals they already provided the uh, the safety sheet in our drawers so no worries if you want to check the data over there you can find it and we do have another scale here to test the call sample and we do have a magic take stirring. You can put the one liquid makes another liquid and stirring makes it by this equipment. We have our small heater here. And this one is centrifuge. And in the centrifuge, you can test that you can separate water and liquid or water and the another liquid or water and solid. It's very useful if you set different rotation speed. You can test it in 10 minutes, you, you in two hours or in 10 hours. And then we do have another equipment over here. We call it mixture. So bas basically we mix the solution and the powder, the solid mass together to set up different rotation speed and test the shear rate. This is very useful if you do want to make polymer solution with different molecular weight. So that's all, uh, of course, we do have a lot of petrophysical property to study, but if you see the porosity, permeability, and other things we can watch ability we can test in our room 13 advanced hydrocarbon recovery lab this is just a part of property test and we can mix or we can make some schedules or system systems to test the other properties and if you have any question, please let me know and thank you for your time for the tour.